Hi, boys and girls. Welcome back to lesson two on Friday, May the 1st. We've been talking about plants this whole week, and we've been talking about how God had created plants to grow. He gave them everything they needed to grow. He gave them the soil, the water, the sunlight, all the things they needed to grow. And we've been looking at plants. You've been looking outside. We've been looking at pictures of plants and stories about plants and so it's been a great week looking at plants i wanted to show you the plant that we looked at the other day and i told you how i was going to put it in here in the colored water to show you how the stem works and look what happened my whole lettuce turned red because i put it in red food coloring and look what happened it went up on the roots and it went up to steam, the stem and spread the red to the rest of the plant. So that's how the stem works. It drinks up the color, it drinks up the water, so you can see how it drank up the color and sent it to the rest of the leaf. And that's how plants work. That's how that stem works. It's like a straw and it just sucks up the nutrients and the water into the rest of the plant. Isn't that amazing? I'm gonna read you this book called Round the Garden just for fun. And after that, we're gonna look at our letters and sounds. So let's read this book first, Round the Garden. It was written by Omri Glasser, and it was illustrated by Byron Glasser and Sandra Higashki. Round the Garden, what kind of garden is it gonna be? Can you tell by the pictures? Yeah, it's gonna be a, a food garden. It's growing food, vegetables and things that we can eat. Round the garden. This is a tear. That made the puddle. That the sun evaporated. Then made the cloud. at all the different kinds of clouds that made the rainfall there's the rain that watered the garden <gasps> look at all those plants that made the onion grow here's the onion growing Look, there's the roots, and then this is the bulb of it, and then here's the stem. That made the gardeners cry. <gasps> Here they are crying because they cut their onions. Isn't that a funny book? That was a just for fun book. Now we're gonna look at some different things, different plant things that you use for when you plant. And I want you to think about what sound you hear for the pitcher. So this is a picture of some pots. Which one of those letters starts with the sound that you hear in the word pot, pots? That's right, it's the letter P. P says P as in pots. Now, what do you know what this is? It's a watering can, water can, water. What sound do you hear at the beginning of the word w water? What letter makes that sound? You're right, it's the W. W says w as in water. Let's try another one. What are those? Those are gardening what? Gloves, gloves. What sound do you hear when you say the word g, g, gloves? Which one of those letters starts with the sound that you hear? G, gloves. That's right, it's the G. Good job, guys. Here's another one. Oh, do you know what that is? That is a hose. Hose. What letter makes the sound that you hear at the beginning of the word? Listen, hose. That's right. The H. H says 
as in the hose. Here's another one. Oh, what are those? Those are boots, boots. Which one of these letters starts the sound you hear at the beginning of the word b, b, boots? That's right, it's the letter B. B says b as in boots. What about this? Oh, what is that? That's the sun, sun, sun. What sound do you hear? What letter makes that sound? You're right, it's the letter S. S says as in sun. All right. Oh, you know what these are? These are tools. T tools. Can you say that with me? Let's say it together. Tools. Tools. All right. Which one of those letters starts with the sound you hear for t tools at the beginning of the word tools? What is it? That's right. It's the T. T says T as in tools. All right. Here's one more. That is a flower. F flower. Let's say it together. Flower. All right. Flower says f as in flower. What letter is that? That's right. It's the F. F says f as in flower. So that was the right sound. Now we're going to switch gears a little. We're still going to be thinking about letters and the sounds they make. But if you have this paper, it has all the letters A through Z on it, and it has uppercase and lowercase letters. And so what I want you to do is be listening. We're gonna look at the letters, and when we, I show you a letter, I want us to think about what sound it makes, and there'll be pictures to help us. But when you hear me see a letter, you're gonna find it on here, and then you can use either crayons or markers, whatever you wanna use. I have different markers here that you can trace the letters for each time we find a letter. So if your parents were able to print this out, you can use this. If they weren't able to, that's okay. Get a piece of paper and you can just write the letter when we say it, okay? Now, if Miss Hudson goes too fast, you can always hit pause. And then when you finish writing, tracing the letter, you hit play again. So if you're not ready yet, hit pause and go get your paper and your markers. Okay, are you ready? Here's our first one. What letter is that? That's right, that's the letter M, and M says M mm, as in milk, M mm, as in milk. So look and see on your paper here. Can you find the M? I see the M, so I'm gonna use this color and I'm gonna trace my uppercase and my lowercase M, and then I'm going to stop. Here's our next letter. What letter is this? That's right, it's the letter F. F says f as in flower. Say it with me, flower. All right, now find your F on your paper. See if you can find your F. And then you can pick any color you want. Trace over your F, uppercase and lowercase. All right, here comes our next letter. The next letter is this letter. What letter is this? That's the letter Z. Z says z. Let's say it together. Z, as in zebra. Find your letter Z and pick any color you want to mark your Z. So trace your uppercase and your lowercase Z. Good job. Now, if I'm going too quick, just hit pause. This is the letter I. I says I. I. Say that with me. Ready? I as an igloo. Now find your eye and mark it. Okay, find your eye. Uppercase, lowercase. Good job. Next letter. This is the letter T. T says t as in tools. That was like our tools before. T, t, tools. Find your T and mark it on your chart. Here comes our next letter. What letter does this say? 
That's right. It says B. What does B say? B. B. Thank you. B says B as balloon. Let's say it together. B says B as balloon. Good job. Find your B and mark your B. Uppercase and lowercase. Ooh, what letter is this? That's right, it's a Q. Can you tell me what sound Q makes? Can you remember? Qu -qu queen, Q as in queen. Find your marker and find it on your paper. And remember, trace over the uppercase and then the lowercase. Good job. Here comes our next letter. This is the letter N. N says N as in newspaper. Let's say it together. Newspaper. N. Okay, find your N on your paper and mark it. Look how many we have so far. All those colors. Here comes our next letter. What letter does that say? What does that say? You're right, it says J. J, what sound does J make? J says J as in jam or jelly or jar. J, J. Okay, mark your J sound. J, here's our J. So trace that. Here. Here comes our next one. This is the letter G. That's right. What is that a picture of? A g guitar. Guitar. G says g as guitar. Say that with me. G says g as in guitar. All right, let's trace our G. Uppercase, lowercase. Here's one more for now. What letter is that? That's an H. H says as in heart, heart. So find your H. I'm going to use red for my H because it says heart. Uppercase. Lowercase. What's this letter? This says P as in p pumpkin. P pumpkin. Okay, find your P and mark it. So I can use all different colors to make my letters. Now look how many letters we've done together. Let's count and see how many we did together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve. We did a lot of them, almost half of them. Now, because our video, I don't want you to have to be here a long time. I'm going to stop there. But what you can do is try to find and go through and say each letter. But when you go to trace your letter A, stop and think, what sound does A make? And you can say, oh, I remember A says A as an apple, and trace that. Then you can do your next letter, your next letter, your next letter, and then skip till you find it. And then you know what? If you're having trouble thinking, ask your mom or your dad or brother or sister and say, what sound does F make? F says F. And then you can give them a sample or ask them for an example. Say, what's a word that starts with E? And they'll say something to you and you'll know they may say egg. And then you'll think, okay, E says eh, as an egg. Or if you can't remember another one, you can say, oh, I remember R says R, but I can't think of a word. And your parents will say, well, remember? R says there is a rainbow. So if you're having trouble on one, just ask someone for a word that starts with that letter sound. 
and see if you can finish tracing them. And for extra practice, you can go back over and rainbow trace these and use different colors on each one. The main thing is Miss Hudson wants you to get used to writing uppercase and lowercase letters. And I want you to be getting used to the sounds that they make because that will help you a lot. Okay, guys, so that's all I'm going to give you for today. But I hope you have a wonderful weekend and that you will get to go outside and see all of God's nature and all the plants that God has created at your house, in your yard, or around your neighborhood if you get to go for a walk. And remember, God provided all of this for us. He takes care of the flowers. And remember when we talked back about Jesus giving all that, his sermon on the mount, he said, not to worry that he takes care of the flowers and the birds of the air and how much more he cares for us. Well, that's what we're seeing. We're seeing how much he takes care of his plants. And remember, he loves you so much that he's taking care of you. He provided these plants and flowers for you to have air to breathe, for you to be able to see beautiful things and to see the power of his might that he made all these flowers and plants for us. So remember, God loves you. You are special. So let's say it together. I am special and God loves me. And Miss Hudson loves you too. So I will see you next Monday. Love you. Bye-bye.